Hey everybody, it's Jeremy here. So, I just unlocked Bonds, our Bones, whatever you call him. And we're going to take a look at his level up rewards and everything else. So, we get Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. And there's Ghost Trick Fiends, or Steen, Stein. <laughs> I am massacring stuff and we haven't even started. Alright, Bonds unlocked. Okay, so... We'll take a look at what his deck is and everything else. Let me go here and collect some rewards. Because you get an icon when you unlock him. So, we got a Bonds icon. Okay, oh, another cool thing that I got earlier. I'm going to bring this up right now. Because <clears throat> I have a farm video coming out tomorrow for to farm bones as well. I got a new prismatic card. I don't know why I'm I'm sharing this now. You all are probably like, I just wanna see I just wanna see all of Bond's stuff. Come on. I got a prismatic pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know, I thought that was randomly random and pretty cool. Alright, let's go take a look at bones or bonds. Okay, the basic level up gem rewards. Alright, so at level 3 we are going to get the regenerating mummy. And this card is sent from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect. Return this card to your hand. 1800 attack. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Alright, so the first skill is going to be straight to the grave. I don't know what these do. I always just talk about them. And then later on, I, if they're useful, you'll see them in videos. I mean... Typical five level five deck slot six gems. Level seven you get a call of the mummy. Um, once per turn you can special summon one zombie type monster from your hand. You must control no no monsters to activate or resolve this effect. Level eight you have deck slot gems at nine ten you get ghost trick ghoul <clears throat> cannot be normal summoned unless you control a ghost trick monster. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. Once per turn during your main phase one, you can target one ghost trick monster you control. Its attack becomes equal to the combined original attack of all ghost trick monsters currently on the field until the end of your opponent's next turn. But if it does, only that monster can attack this turn. Okay, that seems alright. Level, <coughs> level 11, you're going to get ghost trick mummy. It cannot be special summoned unless you control a ghost trick monster. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. While this card is face up on the field, you can normal summon one ghost trick monster in addition to your normal summon slash set. You can only gain, gain this effect once per turn. You cannot special summon any monsters except dark monsters. And then 12 gems. 13 is life boost B. And then... 14, you get another Regenerating Mummy. 15, some more gems. At level 16, you're going to get Ghost Trick Yeti. Cannot be normal summoned unless you control a Ghost Trick Monster once per turn. You can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flipped face up, you can target one Ghost Trick Monster on the field. This turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Okay. 17 gems. Um. At 18, you get re Kuki. At the end of the damage step, if this card battled a warrior, spellcaster type monster, destroy that monster. 19, you get gems. 20, you get restart. Awesome. At 21, you get King of the Skull Servants. The original attack of this card is combined. Is the combined number of King of Skull Servants and Skull Servant. In your graveyard times a thousand. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one other King of Skull Servants or one Skull Servant from your graveyard. Special summon this card. 22, you get gems. At 23, you get Zombie World, which is a field spell card. All monsters on the field and in every graveyard become zombie type monsters. Neither player can tribute summon monsters except zombie type monsters. Interesting. We might be seeing a deck after this. Like, or after this card. 24, more gems. 25, Immortal Ruler. This card cannot be special summoned. You can only tribute this card to add one Zombie World 
from your graveyard to your hand. And it even gives you a card to bring it back if it's destroyed. What? <laughs> um, Alright, so 26 gems, 27 dex slot, 28, 29, and 30 are all gems. 31 is 100k gold, 32 gems. And then you got Ghost Trick Scare at level 33. Target any number of face down defense position monsters you control. Change them to face up defense position. Count the number of Ghost Trick monsters among them. And if you do, change up to that many face up monsters your opponent controls to face down p defense position. The minimum is one. So at 34, gems. At 35, you get Ghost Trick Break. When exactly one face-up ghost trick monster you control and no other cards that's destroyed by battle are an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, target two ghost trick monsters in your graveyard with different names from the destroyed monster special summon them in face down defense position. Cool. Little recovery there. 36, you get a UR jewel. 37 gems. 38, you get ghost trick Yukiona. <clears throat> cannot be special summoned unless you control a ghost trick monster once per turn you can change this card to face down defense position when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you can change the monster that destroyed it to face down def defense position and if you do it cannot change its battle position cool 39 gems and at level 4 you get another king of the skull servants so let's take a look at his deck like what comes in his deck Obviously, we have Pumpkin. Alright, so you get Pumpkin, some Magical Ghost, uh, Grim Reaper, two of them, two Wood Remains, three Graveyard in the Hand of Innovation, the Wandering Doom, you get three of those, you get three Phantom Ghosts, and you get three Skull Servants if you didn't have Skull Servants, I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, and as I unlock more with him, I'll make more videos like with his skills and everything and hopefully next set we see some zombie type support I mean it could be nice I'm probably gonna start leveling bonds up as soon as I'm done with this last level on the Paradox Brothers so yeah I mean that's just the bonds overview just figured I'd show everybody what his cards and stuff are and yeah um, how I got the points so fast, I've had dual orbs quite a bit, saved up. I only use dual orbs when there's an event going on, not to level up my people, just events, so, yeah. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. You get all the gems you would. This new character for people to level up and get gems. Uh, new skills, I'm interested to see what this does at level 3, but yeah. Alright, hopefully you all enjoy the video, happy holidays, have a great time, and I will see you all in the next one.